one of the anglers at the forefront of fishing paddle tail swim baits for a variety of species has been in fisherman editor in chief Doug Stange. His affair with the lure category began in the 1970s with the introduction of a saucy French lure, the Vibrate Tail, which was marketed by Blue Fox and the earliest Sassy Shad from Mr. Twister. Many years and many swim bait renditions later, we have all kinds of options to consider, including some of the tricks and tweaks offered here. Come here. Let's see what we got here. Pretty fish. Nice way to start the day. The jig came right out. Of course, fishing a swim bait right there, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're Texas in the winter time right here, late or early March, I should say. And just like up north uh, or any place else in the country, the weather here is up and down. We had 80 degree weather yesterday. It's only going to be in the upper 50s today, so big cold front. Windy today, as always, or as often times in Texas. We'll put this guy back a minute. There we are. And you go. And certainly one of the hottest classes of baits happening in the last 10 years or so, even though these, this style of bait, the, the thumper's tail swim bait, actually goes back. I started fishing this in the late 1970s for walleyes. That was the Mr. Twister Sassy Shad, a four inch bait. And not only did it swim with the jig head like that, not only did the whole bait swim, but the paddle tail was going all the time. So all a nice visual picture, number one. Number two, mostly overlooked by fishermen is the fact that fish can feel with their lateral line. That's a sense we don't have. It's a key sense for them. And those vibrations given off by these uh, swim baits, these paddle tail swim baits are just critical to finally triggering fish. Okay, always want to start with the jig head with an open hook if you can get away with it. Now you notice we've got lots of timber here. We're on a you know, small Texas reservoir. So we're gonna show you some other rigging methods besides the open hook, but with the open hook you get great hooking all the time. There's our last one. Up again for that guy. And having gone to the, or gotten into the heavy timber here, of course we needed to go to a different rigging and that's what we really want to spend most of the time on. There you go buddy. Down on you. Uh, obviously when you get into timbered situations you can't keep that open jig hook uh, anymore. So this is a weighted swim bait hook right here. Uh, this is the Laser Sharp 111 system and that's a 5 aught hook to go with uh, a 5 inch swim bait, the Berkeley Hollow Belly 5 inch swim bait and I like to go with as heavy a weight as possible so this is the quarter ounce in most instances and to begin to rig this so that it can be fished through timber you've got to begin by screwing this into the head of the bait so that little keeper design pretty slick jeel Okay, once that's on there, then you take your thumb and lay it right behind the hook. And you put your fingernail right there behind the hook. And that's going to tell you where to go through with the hook. So it's straight through. The hook comes through. You see it's laying flat like that. Tuck it right up into the plastic. It's text posed. You can pull it slowly through timber. You can pull it slowly through weeds and it's going to swim through most of the time. And rigging it flat like that gives you more hook gap to hook more fish. You rarely miss fish when you do that. I've got a tungsten weight ahead of this to add more weight to it to get it to swim on the fall. Now this whole system acts as a keel to keep this running flat. Then I add a little swivel right up here. This is 25 pounds fluorocarbon line. And this allows you to make long casts and to grind this along like a crankbait, but yet to get it through that timber. And you want to slow roll it, grind it. If you get too herky-jerky or anything like that, you're going to get hung up. It's slow rolling this bait through the timber that turns these fish on. Now as far as retrieves are concerned, pretty simple. You can just count it down to a depth and grind it along like you would a crankbait. And when you get near cover, a lot of times what you, what you want to do is you bump the cover and then you kill it. And by kill it, I'm letting it drop straight down to the bottom. And the advantage of the package I've got right here with the hollow belly is that it also swims on the way down. A lot of swim baits don't do that. And rigged like this, it swims particularly well. There's one. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't jump a little faster. He ate it good. There we are up and in. Beautiful, man. Wow, look at that. Chunko. 
That's more of a, what you expect when you come to Texas kind of fish right there. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Beautiful eyes. Visual predator for the most part, but of course they use that lateral line too. That's what they, how they feel that swim bait. All right, back you go. 